Welcome back to the Open Source Bridge Conference. I'm Cami Chaos. This is Strange Love Live, and I think this is going to be the last interview that we do for the day. We're going to wrap things up, and I could not think of a better person to close down uh, our stream with than Reed Beals. Hi, Reed. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Has your day been as long as mine? It's been pretty long. Not yeah. as long as yesterday, but yeah. pretty long. That so. sums up my day. My This day has been about two hours shorter so far for me than yesterday was. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> It's still going. It's still going. It's still happening. Uh, we talked earlier with Rick, and we've talked with other people who have all basically said the same thing. Uh, Reed's been working his tail off. You've been doing a lot. Not only have you actually been uh, in the code and getting things uh, done on online, uh, but you've been running around with papers and schedules and putting up signs and making sure everything is running the way it's supposed to be. And and this card basically says that your title is an organizer. And what have you not organized today? Today I honestly haven't had to do that much because this conference has been running shockingly smoothly. It has. Um, <laughs> there have not been major I mean, problems. This is like some sort of wood. Yeah, it's some sort of wood, it's true. But um, <laughs> I've actually been really thrilled with how smoothly things are running. And yeah. it's very exciting to have it come together this well. When Selena and Audrey decided to do this, when did you come on board? I was in the room when we were having the we should have a conference discussion. I think it was at Side Project to start up mm -hmm. last year. Yeah. And um, yeah, there was one of the tiny conference rooms over at CubeSpace, kind of the there were probably like 15 people there. Mm -hmm. All the, squished in. In the yes, we should have a conference. And at that point it was the that wasn't the Selena and Audrey coming together and saying we should have a conference and we're doing this. That was the we should have a conference and we all left that room saying, well, we should have a conference, but none of us are able to commit to actually running one. Yeah. Until two weeks later when Selena and Audrey said, yes, we'll chair this. And everyone else said, yes, we'll try to run a conference. So. And it's been less than a year. It's been less than a year. And September. you guys are running a conference. Here it is. Right around us. A large conference. I mean, not the biggest conference in the world, but we're at the convention center. This is the first year that you've had this conference, and there are people here, everywhere. Yeah, it, I think we had, between all of our volunteers and speakers and sponsor contacts and attendees, we had about 450 people come through here. So um, it's definitely, Definitely a good thing. I mean, we've been throwing around higher numbers as a random guess earlier mm -hmm. in the conference planning process, but those weren't really based on anything, and they were also based in a slightly different economy. Yeah. But no. Um, Things kind of take a little. Definitely a, <laughs> definitely a great first year. Um, one of the things that we've been thrilled about is just kind of looking around and monitoring various forms of communication. Not that many people have been complaining about things. We've heard like a couple people saying that they had Wi-Fi problems. But it's conference Wi-Fi, and it always has yeah. problems. So for the most part, things are going smoothly, and people seem to be enjoying themselves, and we're really happy with that. And it's already been said that this is happening again next year. It's happening again next year. Next summer? We think June. But same, happens. are you thinking the same venue? I mean, I really has don't enough gone know. Right? Not, enough has gone right, but I'm not sure. We, we haven't had those discussions yet at okay. all. So, um it, it's been a great venue in terms of all the things we've been able to provide for attendees. Um, as, as with any of these things, when you get into larger venues like this, you end up getting struck with more and more restrictions. Yeah. And it's like, if we could find a venue that would actually meet the needs and allow us to be a little bit more freeform with mm -hmm. how we handle certain things, mm -hmm. it would be nice, but um, it really needs to be someplace that can reliably serve upwards of 500 people so yeah and that start in Portland that does start to limit your options yeah there's a definite gap I, I did a lot of the initial venue research for this mm -hmm. conference when we were trying to figure out how big it was going to be and where it was going to be and um, looking at different spaces and we all kind of came to the realization really er early on in this process we'd all organized 300 person events yeah we'd all done like helped out with bar camp and ignite type planning processes we knew how to do that easily. It's like as soon as you cross that threshold, you leave the, we can get some office space to sponsor this event and we can yeah. use their office for a weekend to, we need serious event space, we need 
to deal with accommodation planning. We need to deal with like an entire list of because you have you have people. It's not a Portland. I mean, it's a Portland event in that it's happening in Portland. It was conceived in Portland. It's Portland people who are, for the most part, are putting it together. But we are not limited to Portland people. We've got people from all over the country and other countries and other countries coming in here to see what you guys are up to. Yeah, and it's definitely targeted as a wider reaching event, trying to make it um, kind of a destination and trying to reiterate the fact that open source is doing great things in Portland and we're a great city for it and we'd like to be sort of known as a destination and a location that is influential in that space and it's one of the reasons we felt it was very important for Portland to have an open source conference. So. And we used to have one, and it was OSCON moved. OSCON moved, and we don't really hold it against them. No. It gave us a great opportunity to come in and figure out something cool. So So before we go, I want to find out how and when you got started in open source. I, I've been using open source software for a while. Probably the biggest thing starting me in actually open source contribution was when we started working on Caligator, which mm-hmm. was... Um, last January, mm-hmm. so January of 2008, it was January 19th-ish, mm-hmm. um, we started Caligator, which is a wiki-like calendaring Same. system. Calendar aggregator. Yes, for the Portland tech community and beyond. Um, and so we started up that project, and that was, suddenly I was in the position of helping to run an open source project, and I'd done a little bit of smaller contributions to projects before then but Mm -hmm. not as much and I'm seeing a lot definitely seeing more opportunities now of like solving a problem and just contributing source code to various projects good things like that if you have one thing to recommend to um, OS Bridge attendees for tomorrow for the unconference what would it be um suggest things we um lead sessions we just I'm very, very excited for the unconference because I know what was happening yesterday and I know what was happening today and I'd had lots of experience putting together lists of sessions and programs and things like that in the planning process. So I kind of knew what I was to expect and there's been some really great talks I've been really excited to go to, but tomorrow I have no idea what's going on and so it's kind of like I get to attend your conference and see what is going on. That is very cool. Well, yep. Reed, thank you so much for taking the time to come thank talk to much. us. We'll see you tomorrow night at the after party. Yes, we will. It's always good to talk to you. You guys have done a great job. Thank you.